On an uncharted island sits a lighthouse. It's a very special lighthouse that projects a message of love and hope throughout the world. The Protectors are a special team chosen to protect our world from the Syndicate, an evil group determined to spread darkness. These Protectors, chosen to fight the Syndicate, are known as the Light Force. Yeah, Mom. I got the package. Just not sure the socks go with the uniform. Mom, I gotta go. Look alive, people. The new recruit is coming through the refractor. Wow! That was intense. It's light speed. It takes some getting used to. Thanks for the tip. I'm Spectrum. Network. Uh, cool socks. Look, I'd love to sit and chit-chat, but I have a lot of work to do, and I don't have time to make new friends. Oh, okay. Oh, she's here! She's here! Oh, oh. oh. Sorry about that. It's okay. Way to make an entrance, Axiom. Uh, that's totally fine. My name is... Oh, I know who you are. You're Spectrum. You were chosen by Vanguard two days ago. Graduated from high school recently. Fourth in your class. Oh, <laughs> nice job. High five. Wait, how did you know that? I know lots of things. It's my power. Did you know that cherophobia is the fear of fun? I didn't. I think it sounds kind of silly, considering that cherophobia sounds like you're scared of chairs. But I guess, I mean, I once saw a folding chair that was quite frightening. It looked like a mouse. It was all nah, nah, nah. <laughs> High five. Axiom, you need to get out more. Spectrum, you're here. You're here early. Four and a half minutes early. <laughs> well, welcome to the Light Force. I'm Sage. I see you've already met some of the team. Yeah, but um, where's Vanguard? Oh, he's out on patrol with Prism, but he'll be back later. In the meantime, let me show you around and tell you about what we do. What exactly do we do? <laughs> you've been chosen to help fight the Syndicate. The Syndicate? Yeah. They're this evil group led by this guy named Scourge. They want to control the Nexus and spread around bad things like, like hate and stuff. The Nexus? The Nexus is a world inside this portal. Scourge wants to bring darkness into it, but Vanguard chose us to help stop it. And as long as the Nexus is full of light, we can spread our message of hope and love. Guys, we have a problem. It's a message from Vanguard. It's written in some sort of code. I can only crack one of the words, but it looks like he's asking for help. I don't think that message is from Vanguard. Of course it's from Vanguard. It came over his channel. Something doesn't feel right. Look, you're new and you clearly don't understand how things work around here. I get messages and I decode them. And this message is from Vanguard. And I'm telling you, do not trust that message. Sage, help me out here. This doesn't feel right to me either. I think Spectre might be onto something. She just came on the team today, and you're going to listen to her? There's nothing wrong with listening to advice. Spectrum thinks we need to be patient, and I'm going to agree with her. She's our teammate now. And more than that, she's our friend. Well, you guys can do what you want. I'm going to get our leader back. Hold on, I'm in command, and I say we wait. Well, then you guys can crack the rest of the code yourself. Network log, 18. I'm really struggling with this. I think Vanguard is in trouble and needs help, but Spectrum thinks it's something else. What does she know? She's new. I don't want to agree with her, but she's my teammate and I need to be a good friend. She's wrong. I know it. And all of this discussing is wasting time. We need to save Vanguard. can't find my light band. Am I the only one around here who cares? Network, 
You need to calm down. It might not be safe to go into the Nexus. Vanguard is in trouble. We have to help him. The message is only partially decoded. It could say anything. It could be a warning. Or it could be a trap. Why would it be a trap? From what I can tell, traps come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. Like one time, I saw a bear get trapped trying to get honey. Although that may have been an episode of Winnie the Pooh. Network, are you afraid? I'm a member of the Light Force. I'm not afraid of anything. Because every time I look at you, you flash yellow. It doesn't mean anything. I don't know. I just feel like you're scared. I am scared. I don't want to lose Vanguard. We won't. This is what we're going to do. We're going to use our powers together as a team. Let's assume that Axiom is right and it's a trap. We have been stopping the Syndicate much easier lately. They may be trying a new strategy. So maybe they're pretending to be Vanguard. Does Vanguard usually send coded messages? No. For as long as I've been on the team, Vanguard never speaks in code. He's always very clear with what he wants us to do. You're right. I am. Vanguard, you're out of the Nexus. I was never in it. Prism and I were scouting out new Light Force recruits. My sucks. Looks like a Syndicate message. Good job not falling for the Syndicate trap. It was Spectrum. She noticed it. I thought it was you. Spectrum. Good job. You're already making an impact. I, I don't really know how. I mean, I just saw stuff and... <sighs> Wait, I get it. Your superpower is to see traps. That's really good because I left a bunch of mouse traps around and I forgot where I put them and it, it really hurts when you find them on accident. <laughs> You're close, Axiom, but that's not quite her power. Spectrum has the power to see what no one else sees. All of you were chosen because you each have a unique power to hold back the Syndicate's darkness. And we can't do this alone. Okay, the Syndicate is getting trickier. Scourge wants control of this lighthouse and the Nexus, and he's gonna try to get it no matter what. That's why I need you all to work together and really understand that we're part of a team. Check out this verse from Philippians. None of you should look out just for your own good. You should also look out for the good of others. Guys, if we live out this verse, this team's gonna be unstoppable. Vanguard, I may have found another Nexus point. I need you to look at this. On my way. Sage, Axiom, come with me. I'm gonna need you to analyze whatever it is Prism found. On it. Got a TP. Spectrum, wait. Good job. Thank you. I'll let you get back to your mission. Hold on. You're part of the team, and I really need to treat you like you are. You had my back on this one. You should get used to it. <laughs> I'm glad you're part of the team. So am I. Sir, the Light Knights didn't fall for it. They knew it was a trap. Mm. Vanguard is training them well. We're gonna have to use other tactics. We're trying to come up with a new strategy, sir. Hold on. I know what we need to do. Figure out a way to get inside the lighthouse? No. The light force is too strong when they work together. We are gonna have to find a way to split them apart. Ooh. Hey, Light Force Squad. Today we learned that in order to make good friends, we must be a good friend. And sometimes that's not easy to do. Thankfully, Network listened to Spectrum and realized that he was about to make a bad choice. The choices we make will determine what kind of friend it will be. There was a guy in the Bible who didn't make a good choice, and he listened to the wrong kind of friend. Back in the Bible days, there was this king named Solomon. Some people say he was the wisest person who ever lived. I mean, he wrote the book that I get all my advice from, Proverbs. But anyway, back on track. Solomon had a son named Rehoboam. Now, Rehoboam was not like his dad. When Rehoboam became king, he stood before all the people in Israel and he was like, hey everyone, I'm now your king. Now, when the people heard this, they were a little upset. You see, for all the wisdom Solomon had, he was kind of harsh on the people. When the people saw Rehoboam, they were like, don't be mean like your dad. So, Rehoboam met with some of his peeps. 
Some of them were his father's advisors, and others were his closest friends. Now, the old dudes were like, listen to the people. Don't be mean like your dad. Be kind to them, and they'll be kind to you. But his buddies were like, no, dude, you gotta have respect. You let the people know who's boss, and they will respect you. Be like, if you thought my dad was tough, wait till you get a load of me. Now, who do you think Rehoboam listened to? Well, his buddies. I know, right? Worst decision ever. So, Rehoboam went before everyone and told them they better respect him. And the people were not happy about that at all. They were so angry that they were like, we don't want you to be our king. We're gonna have our own kingdom. So most of the people left and started their own country. That's all that's left of Rehoboam's country. That is a tiny little kingdom. Rehoboam lost a lot, and all because he didn't listen to the right friends. We need to be careful who we let shape our life. They can help us make good choices, like Spectrum did for Network, or lead us to bad choices, like Rehoboam's friends. We'll see you next time, Light Force Squad. Now go out there and shine a light.